So to add checkboxes within the SAP query, first of all, you have to open up the transaction code SQ02. Then you select your info set and then you go into the change mode. And under extras and then selections, there you can add a parameter because that is needed to add a checkbox. And here right now we name it, for example, like test. Then we continue, and with here and here the magic happens. And description, for example, you can do, for example, add a checkbox and selection text, for example, a, a short question. Um, yeah, for example, checkbox, um, question mark, whatever. And in type there, you have to enter C for character length one. And then under extras, you type in as checkbox. So this is needed in order to, yeah, to, to build the parameter as and to show it as a checkbox, to handle it like a checkbox. Then we continue. And within this check code for element, then you can add your custom ABAP logic based on this checkbox. So, for example, uh, if the test has been checked, then some fancy ABAP logic should happen. So whatever you like. So then you can can uh, yeah, execute your ABAP logic. You can output messages. You can yeah. Um, change values, whatever you like to. Uh, but basically here your code uh, is being inserted. And if you want to, let's let's quickly generate the info set to show you the output. So we open up the SQ01, then we select our SAP query, and then we execute the SAP query. And now right here, we can see that the checkbox is being shown. So this is the added checkbox. And once again, in the SQ02, it is also possible to add radio buttons. And for this, you need two parameters. So once again, uh, just use test P1, for example, as a parameter. And then parameter 1. Selection text, yeah, could be could be just the same, whatever you like to. On the type, it's important to use C and one. And under extras, there you are using radio button and then group and for example G1. And you have to specify which kind of radio button should be selected by default. So just use default, whatever you like to. So that is fine. Then continue. And then you have to create the second one. I have to specify a name, of course. And then I will do it with P2. And within here, for example, parameter 2. And then parameter 2, again, type is C, length 1. And under extras, there you specify uh, also the, the group. And then you continue. So we have those two. We generate the info set. Uh, of course, if you want to, you can add your uh, code for this element. So, so what should happen if this ready button is selected? And then once again, if we move to the SAP query and we execute this, then here we can see also our ready buttons. So these are two options how you can customize your selection screen within the SAP query. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you have any questions left, put them in the comment sections. And do not forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thank you so much and see you in the next video.